This is what the box looks like. The only thing came in here is the device itself with this uh, flimsy cloth feeling case. And you had to buy your own micro SD cards. And the max it could take is a 32 gig. All right, once you install the, the batteries, and they're AAA batteries, by the way, two AAA batteries. Once you install it, you hold this switch down this way to turn it on. It can also be powered by micro USB with a battery pack. I'll try that in a second. And that's where you put a lav mic in. I'll try that also. Those are the two XY mics. You can put a headphone in here to monitor the audio. And you can turn the volume up for the audio that you're listening to. You can also adjust a bunch of settings in here that, that um, I'll go into in a little bit. Not all of it, though. You can stop the playback, fast forward, um, skip and skip forward or back. And this is the big record button. You can also adjust the, the gain of the audio input with this knob. And I think this is perfectly placed because there's little chance that you'll accidentally adjust this or accidentally touch this. Fantastic. All right. So once you power it on by just holding this down, and it prompts you to select English or not sure what language it is. It's, it's, I think it's Chinese, I'm not sure. And this is the select button right here. It's the grid button. Uh, let's go back. Oh no. Oh, I gotta turn that off. Uh, I gotta go back and set the date. Now how do you get in the menu? So if you if you power it on by holding down the power button plus this other button here right next to it, it gets to the menu. I think I saw that on YouTube some time ago. All right, so I'll just adjust the date and time here, set the date and time, and it's not 2017. I think it's it defaults to that year because that's when it was released. What else can we adjust in here? We can adjust, okay, we can format the SD card, which is always a good idea. Format. And what else we got? Uh, I don't want to update that language. Factory set, and that's it. Exit. All right, you got a bunch of settings that you can change in here. You can adjust the audio quality from 24-bit uh, all the way down to MP3. So MP3 is the lowest quality. Gives you a lot of recording time, but it's the lowest quality. Uh, the next one is 128K, it's still MP3, a little bit better, but the best one will give you the lowest amount of recording time, which would be 96K, 24-bit. That's only 15 hours, but that's still a lot of time. The next thing you can change on here is the low cut. Uh, I'm going to leave that off. And the limiter, I'm going to leave that off as well. And then I'm also going to leave the auto level off because what that does is automatically adjust your levels for you. And I don't want to do that. I'll just do it with the knob at the top. A wonderful feature I just found out. If the gain is set too high and you're clipping, this red light will flash. This is a test with the, the H one end about 12 inches from my face this is a test with the h1n 12 inches from my face this is a test with the lav mic lav mic is about four inches from my face this is a test with the lav mic about four inches from my face this is a test with the lav mic i'm speaking louder the lav mic is 12 inches from my face this is a test with the lav mic the last thing I'll test is the power supply. So I have here a, a power bank, about the same size as this. Obviously, you can plug this into the wall with a with a power with a, a brick, like a charging brick. 
but there are no batteries in here now and supposedly if you have batteries in here and your power bank power bank is depleted then the unit will automatically switch over to using the batteries that are in here so it's a good backup your battery if you have batteries in here use the power bank just in case the batteries can be depleted um, but this should last for I think they say more than 10 hours that's gonna depend on a bunch of things how long yeah, the bit rate you're, you're recording, how, how long the screen stays on for, how often you're fiddling with the screen, that kind of stuff. So I think it's a good idea if you're using this to use a power bank with batteries. All right, so let's turn it on. Let's see if it will turn on. All right, now this power bank here if the wattage that is being drawn is too low it shuts off which is an insignia brand which is terrible but I think this should be enough so it does not shut off oops it is off it is off all right let me use a different power bank all right so let's see if that one shuts off all right now is it drawing enough power to stay on let's see All right, it looks like it's staying on. That's good. It's real good, staying on. All right, let's try the other one again to see if that was just a fluke. All right, let's see how long it stays on for. All right, so it's off. So th this one shuts off if it's not drawing enough power. Let me try the other side. Let's see how long it stays on for. Uh, it's already off okay so it's not a fluke so this won't work i would have batteries in here with or without the power bank and i'd try to carry extra batteries just in case but it would be terrible if i'm recording something important and the thing shuts off i don't think this gives a battery level either let me see as far as percentage it should be hard I really wish these were lithium ion batteries. But I, I don't think it gives a battery percentage. It might give you in terms of bars. Oh, you can connect this to a, with a quarter 20, which is cool. All right, let's turn that on. All right. What is he got? Okay. So in the top, in the top right, you can see a battery level, but it's not a percentage. I don't think you can change that either. I think you can just change the type of battery. Let me get back into the menu. So hold on this button and the on button. And it gets right into the menu. So if you go to battery, no, you can just select the type of battery, that's it. Oh, okay, cool. So once you have the power bank plugged in, the battery indicator goes away. So that lets you know that you're not using battery power. Oh, that's fantastic. And if you unplug it, if you unplug it, then the battery indicator comes back. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so then let's see what happens when this one shuts off. All right, so the battery level is gone. In previous tests, the this wasn't drawing enough power, so it shut off after a few seconds. So in theory, 
it should shut off and the battery level should come back on. We'll see if that happens. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there it is. Not sure if you saw when it came on, but it's still plugged in. But no, the thing, get the focus here. There it is. Let's do it again. All right, so the battery indicator is gone. And after a few seconds, it should go off again. There it is. All right, so it's shut off. And it's still plugged in, but there's no more power being supplied by the power brick, but the battery has taken over. Wonderful.